Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we did some more investigating with Sino, and we found out that there's a whole group of radicals that are dead set on the resurrection of King Deshret, and that basically that's why there's been so many mad scholars here lately, and why all of a sudden they all just started disappearing. So upon further investigation, we found out that there was the incense that made the Traveler pass out whenever we first got to Smero. It's being used to lure the, the scholars out of the town and everything, and to somewhere we don't know where, but... So we're going to go do some more investigation with Dia. We also, uh, while we were talking, shh, Dia, be quiet. We also had someone over here spying on us while we were talking, and so Dia noticed them and luckily told the traveler basically with a wink and everything to kind of keep his mouth shut for the time being until they could get to somewhere more private. So interested to see what's going to happen and what Dia kind of, you know, put two together and everything and what's going on. But yeah, that's kind of what happened. So yeah, again, a lot of story stuff going on. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get right to it. Yeah, hopefully we get some more Primo gems or, like, another wish or something soon, too, because of the fact that, um, I said in the last episode, too, we are at, like, wait, where is she wanting us to go? Oh, I forgot that it was in the previous town, that's right. Um, anyways, uh, nope, not that, um, or, there we go. That we are, like, at 71 wishes, so we are very close to hitting Penny, so we should be getting something soon, a five-star, which is gonna be awesome. Here we are again. Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's almost unreal. I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The Academia believes we're underserving. Geniuses like Sataria are one in a million. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate. Even though the Academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. That's terrible! I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. I understand how she feels, but I hope she doesn't do anything drastic here. Hey, Dia. Uh, you're not thinking about doing anything scary, are you? Uh, no, not at all. This place just gets me thinking, that's all. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Yep, we gotta catch those... Shh. Caravan Rebot is crawling with people. So be careful what you say. We don't want anyone to find out what we're here for. Our mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. I think we brought Dia along because she is smart about this and Paimon's got a big mouth, so. <laughs> Can't trust her to keep her mouth shut about anything. Just our luck. None of them are here today. You mean, you don't see anyone you know? Dia, is that you? <laughs> what a coincidence. You here for a drink too? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally, a friendly face. Oh, and who do you have with you here? Guests from another land? Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, hello. I'm Zaki. Dia's, uh, how would you put it? Drinking buddy? <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. You could say we go back a ways. Anyway, as far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely see any outlander so friendly and respectful nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. So, Dia, are you looking for someone? Yeah. Have you seen Enger, Delavar, or Jabari recently? 
Of course I have. Matter of fact, we were all here drinking together just a few days ago. I've got a spice trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. Know where I could find him? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet these days. So, you came here to help him out? Hey, keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Y'all at Caravan Rebot are like family. If there's more to be made, why not do it together? Besides, Delavar and his friends have muscle. They'd be a good fit for escorting the goods. <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Delavar's my friend too, so of course I can take you to him. Come with me. Interesting, okay. Again, I am very glad we brought Dia. Well, she said she was coming along anyways, but she is very good at this kind of thing. Okay, we gotta go meet him in the desert. This is a little scary. We're gonna meet him out in the middle of nowhere. You really shouldn't do this. <laughs> very unsafe, but I guess got no choice here. Let's see. Okay, it says they're right over here. Yeah, this really doesn't seem safe, guys. But I guess we don't have much of a choice. It says right over... Whoop. Oh, there you are. Huh? No, this, this can't be right. This place looks abandoned. Oh, there's some more camp stuff. Maybe that's it. Are we there yet? Yep. This is the place. This place is practically deserted. What are they doing in a place like this? <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Go on. A wild stab in the dark. <laughs> You're like lambs to the slaughter. Uh What's this all about, Zaki? Come on, Dia. You really think we didn't hear about what you said back in Aru Village? The boys have kept a close eye on you from the moment you set foot there. Not only do I know that you're looking for Delavar, I also know that you've teamed up with people from the Academia to look for the missing scholars. So, you've been watching us from the very beginning? behind was a mistake <laughs> and you left the strongest one in the village didn't you who do you think you are you really thought we'd fall for your little business deal nonsense so you and Delavar have been partners all along <laughs> Dia, I guess it's only natural for a traveling mercenary like you to be out of the loop those of us who hang around the tavern have stronger bonds than you think. But you got one thing right. We're all looking forward to an uprising in Sumeru. There's nothing more we'd like to see than the desert folk overthrowing the Academia. If that's the case, then I'm sure Delavar wouldn't miss a second of it. I'll be honest with you. If it weren't for what you said in the village, your little monologue about the Wall of Samuel would have convinced me that you're one of us. Delavar. And Enger, you're here too, huh? Long time no see, Miss Mercenary. You should have known the traitors are what us followers of King Deshret despise the most. Dia, I thought that you, a fellow desert dweller, would understand why King Deshret is greater than the Dendro Archon. Little did I know, you don't deserve to join us. <laughs> yeah. Gee, what a missed opportunity. Adopting radical views and kidnapping innocent scholars, all because of some baseless rumors. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing out on? See? There you have it. Mercenaries are just a bunch of faithless scum with only one thing on their minds. Mora. Pathetic. You're all like a pack of street rats. You're not wrong. Mercenaries are driven by Mora, and my faith lies with whoever's paying me. 
As long as there's a profit to be made, anyone can become my friend. Enough talking! Get him! <laughs> Just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, Traveler. Yep, I totally saw this coming. I have a feeling she did too, and you guys are not going to stand a chance. I see everything! Wrap him up, take him down. Ow, that was my face. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, let's go all out on these guys, teach him a lesson. Oh, weaklings. <laughs> Impossible. How could you? So, what do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? How did you say it? It's only natural for a traveling mercenary like me to be out of the loop. I'm guessing your informant told you that I'm just an incompetent merc with no real fighting skills, correct? I mean, that is what I said after all. And of course, you would believe everything he reported. The only thing you know about me is that I'm a mercenary, but you've never seen me in action. Even though you heard we went to handle monsters together, you believed that Candace was the only one doing all the real fighting. That so-called flame mane is just a fraud. She admitted it herself. She just uses her connections to gain the trust of others. That's what you thought, right? Ugh. You lied in the village because you figured that we'd have people watching you. And you were stupid enough to fall for it. I figured as much the first time we drank together. You all thought you were so smart. Pathetic. Okay, that should be all of them. Whoa! So you've been planning this since we were in Aru Village? No task can be done without preparation. I just happened to notice a couple suspicious looking people while you were out investigating. But instead of catching them right away, you let them report back! Those two who were snooping around were just a couple small fries. If we want to get the real catch, we have to be patient and give it some time. So those names you mentioned... Oh! You mean the funny names she mentioned back in Uncle Ampu's house? The Wide-Eyed Butcher, Scarbrittle Bandit... Uh... Um, Paimon can't remember them all. That's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Delavar like to talk themselves up when they're drinking. Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, are the nicknames they came up with for themselves. Alcohol has a way of making people share what they really think. So Enger and Delavar are always rambling in the tavern about how King Deshred is a superior deity. What about Zaki? He's just a numbskull who fell right into our trap. Zaki was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to find Delavar first, and then try to track him down. So who was the ducktail bearded crook? That's what you wanted to ask when we were at Uncle Anpu's house, right? Jabari is one of the villagers you talked to. You know, the one who wanted to treat Isak and his grandpa to some food. Wait, so he's a radical too? No, he isn't. I just needed to tack on a random villager name to make the eavesdropper think that I was making some wild guesses based on my impressions. Wow! What a genius idea! Well, that's an expert mercenary for ya! Ah, you're too kind. It was straight from the usual playbook, if I'm honest. So, that thing you were saying before, is it really true? Hmm? About what? about how mercenaries only care about Mora, and that anyone's a friend as long as there's a profit. Does that bother you? Mm, I don't think you're that kind of person. What makes you so sure? Because even without an employer, you're still helping us out. Uh... Dia, do you dislike the Dendro Archon like the other desert folk? <laughs> you two are pretty sharp. No, I don't have anything against the Dendro Archon. I've heard a lot of nice things about the Lesser Lord from Dunyarzad. I can understand her devotion and gratitude. Dunyarzad's just an ordinary person. There's no way a god would be so involved in the lives of everyday people. 
unless they were truly compassionate. I've begun to realize that the sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The radicals' blind belief in King Deshret, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. It's all the academia's trickery. But I see through it all. And unlike them, I can never be hostile towards anyone who's never done anything wrong. Dear. Anyway, looks like we're done with business here. Traveler, lend me a hand. Let's tie him up and bring him to the village. This should be all of them. I'll let you take it from here. All right. I'll be in touch. Until then, please stand by. Candace, do you need any help? Candace will be okay on her own. I trust her, so you can too. She's been guarding Aru Village for quite some time now. If anyone is qualified to question the offenders, it's her. While I'm questioning them, why don't you pass some time by exploring the area? I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning, Traveler. Sounds good. As for these idiots, let's just hope they live to see another day. <laughs> I love Dia, that's awesome. Oh, you can eavesdrop on him. You heard the question. Now answer me. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, I'm scared. Um, you know what? We could wait until the next morning, but I'm always thinking we use this time to explore a little, maybe? You know, maybe go do some daily. We haven't I haven't done the dailies yet for this recording session, so we could possibly go do those real quick. Yeah, let's go do those real quick so we can get enough Primo Gems for at least one more wish. Hopefully they're not too long of dailies. I think they should be pretty quick. So let's go do that, because she did say, you know, go spend some time exploring, so we'll do that. Because like I said, we are so close. We are at 71 wishes. That is so close to hitting pity. For some reason, I always have to get up into the 70s. There's only been one time where I got a wish at, like, I think it was, like, it was on the Kaching banner, and I wasn't even trying to pull it. Like, I was pulling on it because I wanted the four stars that was on it, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get Kaching because of the fact that it was, like, uh, what you would call it, um... I was only, I think, like, 15 wishes in, and I got ka and I was like, oh, I mean, I wasn't mad about it, because, like, I don't mind having her. I hadn't had her yet, because that banner was, like, really early on into the game. But, um, so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll take her, you know, don't mind having her, but I was also like, huh, was not expecting to get her, like, early, early on. <laughs> it's definitely interesting. That's, like, the only one that I've gotten really early. Usually I have to get to about 60 to 70 wishes minimum to be able to get any five-star from the banner for some reason. So for some reason, my luck's never... I have had good luck, though. I can't say that. I have had good luck where there was one time where I got... Um, crap, whose banner was that? I can't remember what character it was on. I, I said it in one of my previous videos, too, which whenever it happened, like, the next day I recorded. I was like, I was so excited. Um, there was a character. I got the... Uh, I failed the... I got the character, and then I failed the 50-50 a second time because I got, like, two five stars in the span of, like, three wishes from each other somehow. I, I did a ten pull, and I got, like, all of them at once. It was really cool. I forgot what characters it was for, though. But that was probably, like, my most lucky one I got. Okay, seriously? You trapped me? That's not fair because you literally, like, stuck me in it. That's annoying. Little turds. Yeah. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, dude. Here we go. Yeah, I've had a couple of few lucky ones like that where I've gotten like five star. I've got I had one where I got like a five star and three four stars in a row. It was awesome. I've had a couple like that, so I can't complain too much. Just I don't have luck like super often. It, it seems like far and few between where it's just like oh, but then again I do. Okay, again, I can't say that, though, because there have been quite a few times where it's, like, I've only lost a 50-50, I think, like, maybe three times, I think. Maybe four times? So I haven't, like, failed a 50-50 that often, so maybe I am more lucky than I thought. I just don't get lucky in the sense of, like, I've seen some streamers and stuff with their streamer luck. Like, that's insane, where they pull, like, oh, you know, I was pulling for such and such, and I got, like, four of them in a row kind of thing, or four of them within 20 pulls, or it's just, like, how do you do that? You know, how do you not fail a 50-50 that many times in a row and also get that many five stars that short a span? It's crazy. I mean, I even remember, um, the first, you remember how, like, the first, whatchamacallit, that you do, the, um, oh, why am I having such a hard time thinking of this stuff? 
the beginner's banner that you do whenever you first start the game, how they have you pool for... It's the banner that gives you, like, Noel, and it's the one that they want you to pool for and everything. You get, like, 20 wishes on it at a discount kind of thing. And I've seen some people on that banner, they get, like, four or five four-star characters, and they got a five-star character out of two, and it was, like, you know, super lucky stuff. It's just, like, on that banner, I barely got... I got Noel, and then, like, I think a weapon, and that was it. And, like, I think maybe one character. I think I got a... I think I got a razor out of it, maybe, which was a really good pool, but that's, like, all I got out of it. It was crazy. But, yeah, I've seen people get, like five times that much out of it, so... Oh, no. As I was like, sometimes my luck is extremely good, and then sometimes it's just very, very average. Dang it, I was hoping to hit that explosive before he got here. Oh, well. Busted. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that one's done. Next up is this one. So, I, I guess you could say I have fluctuating luck then. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's just kind of, sometimes it's awesome, and then sometimes it's just like, wow. I mean, because as you guys have probably seen on here, too, where it's been like, there's been times where I've pulled and I get, I barely get a four star every tenth pool. Like, you know, that's, you know, the pity for the four stars. I barely get that sometimes. And then there's a lot of times, too, where it's like, um, seriously, I thought it ran out of there. And there's a lot of times, too, where it's just like, okay, as you see now, I'm at 71 wishes and still no five star. But also, we've done really good with our 50-50s, too, though, so. Oh, wow, he dropped nothing. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, where's our last daily in Liyue? Oh, there it is. Way over here. Okay, this one should be pretty easy. Yeah, it's just a time challenge. Perfect. Run, Yalen, run! Let's see. We'll just kind of ignore those guys there. We'll just keep moving forward. You don't see me. La da 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 da. Yeah, that was pretty cool with Dia. She's such a nice person. That being like basically, you know, she's been around Dinyar's odd enough to know that basically Lord Kusanali is a good person. Well, a good Archon and everything. That she has nothing against her because she has literally done nothing wrong. So why would she have anything against her, you know? So my respect for Dia just went like way up because of that. I mean, I already had a lot of respect for Dia, you know, because we, she'd already proven that she wasn't always in it for the money as she tries to claim to be. There we go. And here's the finish. Perfect. Okay, let's go turn this in. Uh, where's the quickest way to turn that? I think Inazuma's probably the fastest one to actually turn it in at, now that I think about it. Let's just write up these steps. Yee. Add Thank you for coming. There we go. Add Astro. You can't believe how far ahead she was thinking, too. It was so smart of her. I mean, I knew she was smart and everything, but it's just like that was like some very good, like, yeah. Oh, sweet. I didn't even think about. Do we have anyone we can send to Sumeru? Um, you know, maybe we'll have people start claiming, like, the stuff. Uh, no, we don't need that stuff, actually. It, we, I think we're still needing mainly ores. I think that's our main thing right now. There we go. Go ahead and battle pass stuff. <laughs> First level, finally. Okay, and we have enough for a wish now. And we are going to end this episode here with a wish, guys. Okay, here we go. Three, two... One, go. Oh, seriously? That's number 72. We are 18 away. We are getting so stinking close. We almost have enough, too, to buy more uh, more of these, too. That's crazy. Well, guys, on that kind of depressing note, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. In the next one, we are going to... It said we have to wait until the next day, right? Ooh, not that. I said quest. Uh, yeah, we got to wait until the next day. And then we'll talk to Dia. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!